Police have made the first arrests in connection with the July the 7th London bombings. And coming up, the much-delayed new PlayStation 3 is launched. We're going to ask computer gamers for their verdicts. And in Spotlight, tributes are paid to the two men killed in the accident on board HMS Tireless. Hitting the headlines, how schoolchildren in the southwest are literally making the news. And surfs up as we chill out with the latest band in our White Label series. Now, have you ever wondered what it would be like to work in a newsroom like the one here at the BBC? Well, hundreds of 12 and 13-year-olds today swap their usual lessons for classes in how to make the news. But who are we, just two old hacks, to introduce anything <laughs> about children making the news? So earlier, we brought in two young helpers, Kazi and Magda. Thanks, George. For the last few months, we've been learning how to put stories, interviews and even weather reports together. And today, we even put out live bulletins. A hundred schools across Britain have been involved in the BBC project and though we have plenty of help from you old hands, it was up to us to choose the stories, film them and edit them. Now over to Jane Hill in Birmingham. Well, thank you very much, you too. I think all our jobs are under threat after that, aren't they? It's been a tiring but successful day for pupils here in Birmingham. And meanwhile, in other parts of the country, some children have been able to interview party leaders, among other people. David Cameron gave some pupils an interview. Ming Campbell's been taking part. And children from schools in Coventry were able to go to number 10 to interview the Prime Minister. This really has been a project that has involved children up and down the country. So let's start in the southwest in Newton Abbott. Hi, I'm Jake. And I'm Beth. And we're from Coombsay College in Devon. It's been a busy day for us. We've been filming our own reports, editing and rehearsing, all in time for us to do our own bulletins on TV, radio and online. New studio. Hello and welcome to the news from Coombs Hair College. School Report is all about learning about the news. It helps us with English and citizenship lessons. Plus we get better at working in a team and communicating with each other. I think it's like really, really good. It's like really good fun and it's a great experience. I've learnt lots about writing and how to make the news work. We aren't the only school taking part. More than a hundred other schools are too. Hello and welcome to Radio Ryburn on BBC News Day. I'm Josh. And I'm here. Good afternoon. Welcome to the BBC School Report from St John Wall School. I'm Luke and this is Chantal. If you were living in Scotland, uh, you wouldn't have to pay tuition fees. Is this too high a price to pay for getting rid of Sudan? Funnily enough, just before I came here, which is why I was a bit late, I was just speaking to the Prime Minister in Iraq. This is Stanchester to School, BBC News, School Report. For BBC News, School Report. This is Luke. And this is Will, reporting for the BBC News, School Report. This is Bonus Pastor, Catholic College, BBC News, School Report. Well, that's just a flavour of what children were doing up and down the country for this year's School Report Day, which means you can now sign up ready for next year's project, which promises to be even bigger. Well, we had a fantastic day. It's been lots of fun. Yeah, I think I'll get used to this. But now, back to the oldies, George and Sean. <laughs> <laughs> Makes you feel ancient, oh, doesn't they? it? Oh, I know. They're they. very good, though, aren't they? <laughs> They'll be here tomorrow. <laughs> and on News 24, straight after this programme, we'll see how some school children got on when they interviewed the former EastEnders star, Louisa Lytton.